First, introduction. In manufacturing industry and service sector, there are works who are required to do overhead tasks such as painting a shilling, electricians, and even office worker. They regularly hold their next flexion for extended period and frequently experience neck pain. Therefore, we aim to design a comfortable and smart neck support to reduce their neck muscle pain. Most of the existing products are designed in conventional method, which is soft mattress support at our cervical spine. Therefore, we innovate and improvise the method with adding the IoT elements to track and to be more alert while using the smart neck support device. Problem statement. Most product mechanism existing in the market only provide a soft foam padding support at the back of the neck. There are no indicator or alert system built in. User couldn't analyze how frequently they are exceeding ergonomic posture angle. However, smart neck support will alert user whenever the neck posture is exceeding the ergonomic posture angle. It is available for side neck flexion and able to monitor user's cervical spine posture in 180 degrees backside. It is also able to store and display count of alert by pairing with smartphone application. The purpose of this project is to innovate the next support to help workers perform their tasks comfortably. These are the four objectives of the project to develop. Literature review. According to Stefan, next support is used for individuals who constantly have muscular pain while rotating their head when doing their job. Chris also support where next support is a temporary device to help in relieving users neck pain. Duty research showed that human error, including the management and knowledge of cognitive underspecification, lead to the wrong product design procedures. Bruce also said that a human error can be achieved through selection, training, equipment design, job design, and aiding. According to Power and Gumbray, IoT permits users to connect everywhere with any condition, including various medical services. Assalamualaikum, my name is Ms. Samina Binti Kamarudin. So I'm going to explain about the methodology that we use in our product design development process. The first method is we use the survey. The main purpose for this method is to collect the important information regarding our respondents' knowledge, attitude and behavior. The number of respondents is being set up to more than 40 respondents. In our survey, there are five sections that is being divided for our respondents to have a better and clear view. The second method is we did a research on the past study for us to have guidelines and benchmarking in improvising the new design concept. The third method is after gathering all the information required, we proceed with the house of quality method for us to analyze and narrow the customer's language. The fourth method is we do a task analysis towards the existing product. This is to identify the user's goal while doing the task. The fifth method is the concept evaluation and concept screening. This method is being started by creating a morphological chart of our product designs. Several concepts will be formed from the chart for us to choose the best from the best design concept. And the sixth method is the bill of material. We will analyze all of the costs involved, such as raw materials. This is to ensure us to only choose the affordable and quality materials only. And last but not least, the DMFA analysis, which stands for Design for Manufacturing and Assembly, in hope that we can minimize the product price involved, lowering the cost of the products, and increasing the design efficiency. For the House of Quality Analyzation, the Technical Importance Score shows that material and component selection is the most important in achieving the customer requirement which are portable, comfortable, and safe. There is two concepts that is being formed from the morphological chart. 
set 1 is the combination of option 1 for the next support, option 2 for the armhole strap, option 3 for the bucket type and rechargeable batteries. Meanwhile, for the concept 2 is the combination of option 2 for the next support, option 3 for the armhole strap, option 1 for the bucket type and non-rechargeable batteries. Finally, we evaluated with the FMA analysis. As shown, it is the comparison between the existing design and revised design. And most importantly, our group achieved to increase the design efficiency from 37% to 67%. And for the design for manufacturing analysis, our process involved is mostly machining, such as training, wrapping, and sewing. We plan to avoid from using hard process or hard material to allow us to provide comfortness for our users. For the concept generation, we have used morphological chart method. This provides a structured approach to the concept generation to widen the area of search for the solution. And there are three main functions we are searching for, which is neck support, armhole strap, and buckle type. So for the neck support, the concept one and concept two are same, which is has a curve that let the neck rest comfortably. And for the armhole strap for concept one, uh, which makes the wearing process easier. And for concept two, there are two type of straps which can, which can strap on our pants. And for buckle type, the concept one is makes with a metal buckle which is convenient. And for concept two, the waist clap is easy to attach and detach on the pant. These are the two designs we have came out for our concept evaluation, concept 1 and concept 2. We have performed concept screening for concept 1 and concept 2 design. So the result is concept 1 is selected based on selection criteria from our consumers. This is our house of quality diagram. From this house of quality diagram, we have analyzed that there is no any other company that provide a smart net support with IOT implementation. The pie chart shown is some of our survey's results. From the survey, the main thing that we noticed is consumers are willing to willing to have smart net support with some requirements stated on the report. For the bill of material, the parts count for existing product and for our smart net support is same, which is three parts. But the price estimation for smart net support design is higher. This is because of the IoT implementation cost makes the price higher. Manufacturing process. Most of the process involved to assemble this design is sewing process. This is because most of the part is uh, from nylon cotton and rather than sewing process, there are machine trimming involved for design PU boards to fit in the electronics parts on the next support. The limitation and challenges that we have faced while came out with this design is first one, selection of sensor. The selection of sensor need to be precise. This is because the sensor need to be uh, detect the difference in the next posture of the user. And the second one is coding for IoT. The coding or for Arduino to work correctly is more important part to this project. And the third one is designed for environmental. We need to make sure that there is no any parts of the smart neck support device is environmentally waste. So we came out with this revised design that we can reuse some part from that. As a conclusion, we have achieved our project objective uh, by designing this smart neck device, which is a solution for industrial worker who suffer with neck pain. And the second objective is a smart neck support device that can track neck posture while performing overhead task. And the last one is should alter user to correct back their neck posture. And that's all from us. Thank you.